Was that, that wasn't called Rookies, was it? No, Rookies, rookies is, is a different one. season one. That was the first episode yeah. they were in, but like half of them die in that, or most of them die in that. Yeah. It's a really yeah. weird way to introduce a squad and then make you like them two seasons later. Yeah. I was so confused watching yeah. Clone Wars the first time. Like That's why I, I always always recommend watching chronologically. Yeah. Because like when I watched it, I didn't watch it when it came out, so yeah. we can save this for our intro pre our no, we intro shouldn't. though. Nobody cares. <laughs> Or we're already doing our Patreon intro, and I can start the that Patreon intro whenever I want, because I am the producer of the show. Yes, you are. Hi, patrons. Sure. Thanks for everything you do. Yeah. Uh, Victoria, are you... Uh, do you go by Victoria or Vicky or both, or you don't care, or what? Victoria. Yeah, I I go by Mike, but it's weird when people call me Michael, just because like, <laughs> when I grew up, my mom was very only Michael. He's only Michael. Like, like no one could call me Mike. Uh, <laughs> and so I kind of went the other way. Whenever I, when I could decide what I wanted to be called, I was like, yeah, I'm Mike. <laughs> like, you know. And now she calls me Mikey, which is even weirder. So I don't, I don't even know. Yeah. All right. No. 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 We are pre-recording, and I can edit out anything we don't like. Uh, or I can enhance things that we don't like and make us look real bad. So that's usually what tends to happen. That's Everything that Zach says that's stupid, I keep in. And anytime I don't know something, I cut it out to make me look like <laughs> I do know things. Oh, geez. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so is everyone's recording? Just double checking. Yep. yep. Cool. 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 Awesome. Well, thank you for being here. What we're doing right now is our little Patreon intro uh, because the Patreon members can watch this so they'll be they'll be seeing it um there's only like how many of them are 25 25 yep 25 yeah so um not a not a big audience but a special audience and a dedicated audience um so thanks for yep. thanks for being here for that uh we don't usually do anything save any actual content for this we just kind of joke around banter. And, yeah, and banter, banter. Yeah, yeah. but but we did want to discuss because we don't, I don't think we'll have time for it in the show to keep it in a reasonable time. We wanted to discuss the new Kenobi trailer in it. Yep. So hey, let's let the special guest uh, go yes. first. What do you think of the, the Give new us trailer? Any. Right on. Um, yeah. So I saw it as soon as I woke up yesterday, was it? Yesterday. Mm -hmm. And uh, yep. yeah, fantastic. I really liked it a lot more than the first trailer. Um, oh. There was a lot in there you, to Mike. absorb. And um, we had a debate. I had, to, text. <laughs> I had to digest it and go back and watch it multiple mm -hmm. times because there's just so many little things in there. And yep. um, when I was able to just sit and kind of contemplate on some of what I saw and some of what I'm really excited about, um, mm -hmm. it has me really hyped. I'm super stoked for this show. Yeah, a lot of little blink and you'll miss some things in yep. there, like uh, Forlom and. Uh, Kamel Nanjani's Jedi character, you know, like is like he literally he's there for like a half second. You're like, oh, oh, what was that him? And I had to like go back and rewatch it slow. And yeah, yep. I, I really liked how like Darth Vader's suit. You could just see his skin <laughs> underneath and the straps, and then the I spikes. literally plugging it into him like yeah, it's, like, like he's a, like he's a computer like sharp part. spikes. Like <laughs> yeah, it was that was crazy. That was really crazy. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I love the trailer, Mike. What do you think? Uh Personally, for me, I, I got more hyped from the first trailer. I'm not going to lie. But like I said, it was mostly the music, I think, for this one. Like the music wasn't bad in the second one, mm. but the reuse of like those songs in the, the way they, the, they reused them. Yeah, the battle. Yeah. All, the all those. Yeah. All going yeah. into different ones, different one, different one. Um, the music got me hyped for it more than what I saw. But I will say, visually speaking, the second one was yeah. cooler. I just really love the music in the first trailer like a lot yeah i think i liked the second one better because we actually got that quick uh scene between obi-wan and owen lars whenever mm -hmm. owen lars gives him the stone cold stunner and and says uh just like you trained his father you know something oh, like that them uh, spot gave, words yeah so he got him good with that one he did uh yeah shots fired if you will <laughs> right um hey you want to hear a theory what yeah. if the reason 
Kenobi has to go off world is because Owen Lars is tired of him wanting to train Luke. So he's like, I'm getting this guy off my back. And he tells the Inquisitors or the Empire that Kenobi is on the planet. You know what I mean? Oh. That's kind of, that's kind of, I didn't think about that until recently. So that. I think that would make people not like Owen as much as they currently <laughs> may or may not like <laughs> Owen. <laughs> I mean, he kind of is a grumpy old bastard anyways from the in the original trilogy, so... Yeah, I he don't means know. well, but he's that, you know, he's kind of a grumpy old guy, right? Like he's doing because yeah. he thinks that's the best way to protect Luke. <laughs> yeah, you can waste time with your friends later. He's one of those parents, you know. Yeah. What are you gonna say, Victoria? It, it, it could very well be that. Um, obviously, when we see Uncle Owen in A New Hope, you know, you can tell there's there's been some history there. Mm-hmm. So it could very well be that uh, Owen betrayed Obi Wan. And um, that's why he has to kind of lead the Inquisitors on a goose chase. And I, I don't know. It, it's interesting. I hadn't considered that. But, yeah, that, that would that's a good hypothetical. I don't think that's going to happen, but I think that'd be neat, you know, if that's the route they went. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll find out in, like, two weeks, three weeks. <laughs> yep. yeah, three it's weeks. coming up wow. soon. Yeah, it's coming up soon. Yeah. And I then uh, – and then – when that comes out, I'll be going to Star Wars Celebration, so that'll be fun. You're going too, right, Victoria? Yes. You like you? I don't know if Victoria could could hear you, but I you like bleeped out for a second. You you glitched. Yeah, you glitched. Me? I yeah. did. Mm-hmm. I glitched out. Yeah. Oh wow. You said you were going to go on Friday. I think. I think that's what you were about to say, but then you glitched out. Oh, I just wanted to know if Victoria was going. To Star Wars Celebration. Yes, on the Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah, that's Lucky. those are actually the the tickets that just got here today because I ordered oh, them. Oh, nice. I haven't gotten mine yet. Yeah. Uh, the ones I ordered back in 2020 haven't gotten here yet, but the ones I ordered <laughs> when they put tickets back up got here. Oh, so, so that's that how like, it is. I see. Yeah. That sounds like how Hasbro does it, too. If you pre-order on day Honestly, one... Yeah. You'll get it after Walmart. people who pre-order, like yeah, for right? Walmart, ex- for Walmart <laughs> yeah, Walmart too, yeah, 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 absolutely, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, because I was gonna go uh, back in 2020. They also it was like Thursday, and then Thursday night they had a Star Wars night, so I was gonna go to that Thursday, Thursday night. Then my wife and I were gonna spend Friday, Saturday at Disneyland, and then we're gonna go on Sunday because those are the only two tickets I could get anyway. But we're gonna make a whole weekend out of it. But then when you know COVID happened, we couldn't go anymore. They got moved. But now that they moved it to May this year, like none of that works out. Because Star Wars night for Disneyland was last night, and I couldn't go in the middle of a week to go to you know for no reason just to go to Disneyland as much as I yep. want to. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of lame. Yeah, I don't know why they do it that. I mean, I know it was May fourth, but like even Universal, yeah. they had an event last week, and you probably know, and it yeah. was on a Thursday. I totally would have gone if it was Friday, but it was on a Thursday. Yeah, so thir- it's like, like wh- who has time to go party at a theme park late at night on a weeknight? You know, it's just so weird. Um, so I got a question. Yeah. So you're gonna be at Celebration Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all four days, or not Friday? No, okay, I'm so going, you're going to be... I'm oh, going, so you're not going to be there Friday. I'm Neither going of you are going to be there Friday. No, and that's Hasbro's panel, which sucks. Yeah, and... I, well, that kind of eliminates my question then, because doesn't... Kenobi comes out that Friday, right? Episodes mm-hmm. 1 and 2. When, I thought it was Wednesday. Is it? Oh, no, it, you're right. It is Friday. They pushed it back to Friday yeah, and, did. and did the first two and episodes. doing two episodes, yep. So I was going to say, are you worried about not being able to watch it, maybe, and then hearing people talk about it, spoilers, you know what I mean, before you can watch it, but you all won't be in that situation, so... If I were you can going watch it Friday night or so, if I were going, I would have watched it Thursday night. Like I would have stayed up till midnight stayed and watched the, it. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, you can just stay only, up till midnight, but it's three a.m. Yeah. for us. It's like I can't yeah. do that. You know, nah, it's only know. midnight here. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Um. Cool. So, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and get the the show started real quick. Well, again, other- before we go, yeah. thanks patrons for this has been yes. our exclusive Patreon trailer talk. We hope you like actual content instead of us just. Talking nonsense. <laughs> Usually about death or something crazy. <laughs> yeah, we got really dark that one um, time. All right. So, <clears throat> welcome to episode 19 of Black Series Cantina. I am Zach, and we am joined by oh, Mike. I'm, I'm Mike. I'm Mike. always Mike. Yeah. And we have a special guest, Victoria from Victoria's Cantina. 
Hello, Mike. Hello, Zach. Thank you so much for having me on. Uh, it's an honor to be here. I'm really looking forward to chatting some Black Series figures. Yeah. You have a lot of news to go over, too. We got a Cantina crossover event happening. That was Zach's. I'm giving him credit for that. That was a really yes. good. <laughs> that was yeah. all me. That was, that was all. Me. That was all you. I didn't think of that. So, yeah. <laughs> well, there's before also, we get into the, um, hmm? go ahead. Sorry, there's also a six scale Cantina. We should do all three. We should and have, whole, have the whole yeah. thing. Just cut, with our powers combined, we could have a, just like a super podcast. It's oh, yeah. it's really weird that Cantina is like the natural thing you go to with Star Wars when you have like oh, we want to talk about something we're having a cantina like it's not a powwow it's not a meeting like it's cantina a yeah mm. no, <laughs> cantina is now just a word for when a group of Star Wars people get together and Join hang together, out and yeah. talk about Star Wars yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but we do have a very like a mass I would call this a massive episode right we have tons yeah. of news we have yeah. a, a great guest to join in um, so I'm really excited, really excited about this episode. Yeah. Um, what's the 19th figure in the red line? Oh, do we know? Do we? Oh, I should. I should, I was gonna look this up, and I, I, I dropped the ball on that. So kudos to whoever uh, Constable like, is Zuvio. listening and that, Constable Zuvio. No, Con- I don't know. Is it? No, it's, <laughs> it's oh, not Constable. Yeah, it's not it, Constable. No. I was say, he was in the first wave, wasn't he? Yeah, like, yeah, the yeah. First, yeah. No, it's, <laughs> no, we're getting into like, uh, like Princess Leia, Obi Wan Kenobi territory. Uh, where Revan. they started going back and doing old stuff. It might if, if it's Revan, that's rad. Uh, mm. Let's see, Red. Are nope, you still doing, pulling it up. Oh, I am. When, we should see. really start doing this before we record. <laughs> that's what I for. said. I, I even told myself, uh, Django Fed's fifteen, so sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. You're Kanan Jarrus. Ah. They, or this is Kanan Jarrus. That's a I good one. Say. Yeah, no, this is the. The Kane yeah, and Jarvis episode. Yeah. Um, well, cool. Well, before we get yeah. into the show proper and stuff, Victoria, yep. tell us a little bit about yourself, your Star Wars journey, who you are, things like that. This is your platform right now. Things like that. All right. So um, my name is Victoria, obviously. Uh, I started Victoria's Cantina on YouTube in 2013. Um, it started off basically as a small channel, just focused on um, the amount of collectibles I had in my collection. I was going through a transitionary period in my life at that point and um, uh, relocated from Orange County down to San Diego. And um, it was uh, there was a lot of change. And, you know, I've, I as I moved, I realized, OK, well, I have this big collection. And, you know, I'm starting to see YouTube channels of people talking about toys. There weren't that many at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like, why don't I do that? So I started doing reviews of toys I had in my collection already. And then new stuff, Black Series comes out in 2013, I think July or August. And Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, VC was one of the first channels to have reviews for those on YouTube. And um, from there, it branched down to Cantina Chatter Podcast, Vintage Collection Podcast, uh, Discovery Land Podcast, which is a Disney-focused history show, which is on a hiatus right now. And then I do collect Jurassic world with collect Jurassic. It's a Jurassic park toy podcast. And, um, yeah, I started going to conventions, uh, going to comic con and, um, you know, bumping elbows with other content creators at these shows and, um, uh, you know, really, uh, blessed the opportunities to talk to, uh, some of the, uh, designers and manufacturers of these toys that we all collect, whether it's from Mattel or Hasbro or, you know, wherever different companies and, um, started building relationships with some of those companies and reviewing their products and participating in Q and a sessions and, um, just really cool opportunities there. Uh, I started collecting in 1990. Well, uh, okay. So I got to go back to the very, very beginning if I'm going to talk about toys and, you know, my history with toys. So, um, let's hear it. I had lots of aunts and uncles, and I was the first uh, kid on my mom's side of the family. And um, birthdays, Christmas, or just because, you know, they'd always shower me with toys. And it wasn't just things like Barbies or Polly Pockets. There were also action figures. And for whatever reason, I was most drawn to the action figures because I just felt like they were cool. They were fun. Mm-hmm. And they did things that like the Barbies didn't do, you know, and they yeah. were, they were just so unique, like Ghostbusters, you know, the real Ghostbusters, mm-hmm. um, TMNT, um, Swamp Thing, <laughs> uh, Kenner Jurassic Park, 
Um, I mean, just so many toys that, you know, now are, you look at as just being classic, you know, vintage, even like nostalgic toy lines. And, uh, I miss star Wars is vintage days. Cause I came a little after that, but, um, Same. you know, I was, I was firmly in the real ghostbusters, um, uh, toy, toy biz, Batman stuff and, uh, TMNT and, um, all that. And then I, I think the power of the force too, that came back in 95, Mm-hmm. And I seriously got into Star Wars in 96. That's when I started collecting Power of the Force, too. Uh, I recently posted a photo on Instagram. I was back at my parents in Texas at their home. And uh, they found that these old Polar- Polaroids in my room and, it, you know, all the Power of the Force carded figures <laughs> that were set up nice. in there. And I, I posted some of these pics. And, um, yeah, so it's been nonstop since then for Star Wars. I've, I've, I don't think I've gone longer than maybe a month or two since then without buying a star Wars figure. Wow. Um, and, uh, yeah, so three, three quarter inch, I have pretty much, I would say most items, probably 90% of them since then. I don't have all the vehicles. I have most of the vehicles. I have most of the play sets, but not everything. Um, and then of course, black series came along in 2013 and I've been pretty much completest with it. I have skipped a few more recent things and, uh, I have skipped some of the extra carbonized credit collection type things. Um, mm-hmm. but by and large, I have pretty much the whole mainline collection. I have the whole mainline collection and, uh, many of the exclusives. So, uh, that's where we are. It's 2022 now still doing this, still on YouTube, uh, when I have the time to be. Um, and, uh, yeah, still keeping busy and, you know, I, I wish I could say I only focus on star Wars, but I just like so many things. So, uh, I'm collecting the Mattel Jurassic line. I have, I have a super seven, uh, TMNT. I have, gosh, it's just, I got hot toys. I have kind of everything really. I'm, I'm all over the place. <laughs> um, I have random dinosaurs and, um, yeah, I'm really all over the place, but you know what? Uh, I love it. It's fun. It's, it keeps me, I feel like creative because, you know, it's mm-hmm. just kind of like, I, I always thought the great thing about toys is that they reflect something you loved about a movie or a TV show, just something that yeah. you really loved and being able to have a piece of that, that you can look at without having to pop the Blu-ray in or the VHS, you know, in or whatever, yeah. um, just, just really like reminds you how much you enjoyed that. And I, I mean, I even have toys for movies that I haven't seen in some cases just because I love the toys. Um, so it's, it's just fun. And I think that's something we often lose sight of as collectors and, you know, content creators and whatnot, you know, it's, 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 it's just fun. And that's why we do it to begin with. So I'm having fun the day that I don't have fun doing this, I'll stop. But, um, until then, you know, it's, it's really great. And it's great talking to people like you guys and, all the other folks I've um, run into uh, over the last several years of doing this. So yeah, that's the I have, I have one question. Uh, Cause it sounds like we're basically kind of the same age. Cause we have a lot of the same time frame, like things you're collecting. Like I was a little bit too young to get into star Wars. And then I got basically the same stuff after you did. Um, where, where do you keep it all? Because <laughs> I'm looking behind you. For the people uh, that are listening, uh, we're, I can see her camera here. And uh, it sounds like you should have basically like Indiana Jones warehouse full of <laughs> stuff. And uh, it, it doesn't look yeah, like no. a hoarder house from, from right here. It, just, it looks yeah, like a it very well, like a really organized, well manicured, yeah. organized collection. <laughs> Yeah. So that's the tough part. Um, that is the, that's a really tough part. So I have a closet space where I have storage and, um, uh, not just in, in this collection slash office room, but, um, I'm very, uh, I try to keep things very curated. Um, I have things very, I don't usually say packaging, um, Mm -hmm. for vintage collection. I do buy extras to keep box, but like most other stuff, I don't. So, um, I have things organized in like tackle boxes and in in storage, um, uh, shelving and stuff like that, like in closets. And, um, but I do have a lot of shelves here in this room. You can see a little bit behind me, but there's, you know, I like it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, you can see like some power Rangers over there and, Mm -hmm. uh, ghostbusters, all kinds of stuff that I have. But, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I try my best, um, 
you know, there are areas of this room that aren't where I'd like them to be. Uh, cause there are, you know, there are some things I'm always pulling things out is, is the thing, you know, it's like I'm talking about on a podcast or I'm looking for it for a video or whatever. And mm -hmm. I start having to dig things out cause I don't always know where things are. Um, but that is the tricky part of collecting is storing, you know, where do you put yeah, it? Yeah. How do you organize it? And it's, it's hard work. Um, but, um, I do my best and I guess somehow I manage. That's good. Well, you're doing a good job. So Thank I guess you. just from some outside yep. random person <laughs> mm -hmm. who admires, I mean, to, truth be told, I've, I've followed your channel for a long time. Uh, you were one of the channels when I started looking at YouTube toy channels and stuff. I'm like, well, this is one, you know, of people kind of doing the kind of content that I want to do as well. Uh, so I've, I've known who you were for a long time. Uh, and it's weird at some points thinking like at some point I was a random person just watching YouTube videos and now I'm creating them and like I'm kind of a peer, I guess, but like I still view you as like, Oh, it's Victoria's Cantina. Like it's so <laughs> crazy, you know? Uh, so it's just, it's kind of cool. Like I, I'm, I feel cool talking to you. <laughs> just, well, that's really kind. Thank you. And, yeah. and Mike, you were on a, a cantina social hour a few mm -hmm. weeks ago and that was, that was a really fun conversation. Yeah. Uh, another thing you said uh, that I really liked was, uh, you know, when you have an action figure or a toy of something, it's like having a piece of that movie without having to put like the Blu-ray or DVD in. And I, it reminded me when I first got the internet back in like the mid nineties, my dad got us the internet and the first thing I did was I went on random. I don't even know what they weren't really websites back then, but I found pictures. This website that had pictures of Star Wars stuff. And I would just download pictures of Star Wars stuff and save them into folders so that I could go and look at them on my, and I would just look at pictures. It's like, it's all I was doing was looking at pictures. And I just realized that how, how right that is. We're like, I don't really do that anymore because I have this rad collection behind me and if i want to go take a look at luke skywalker i'm just gonna go pick up the action <laughs> figure off the shelf that's so I, I really like that yeah yeah totally it's it's a yeah. blast and um first thing i ever looked at looked up on the internet was chupa <laughs> 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 uh, This yeah it was around the same time too and you yeah. know we didn't have the internet until like 2001 at home but oh, okay. my aunt had yeah. it and mm -hmm. you know how in the in like the mid to late 90s like just sci-fi yep. you know the x-files and um you know aliens and ufos mm -hmm. and all that was popular and chupa coppers was like a big thing i guess apparently so my aunt let me on her internet and that's the first thing i looked up i I still remember. Uh, do you have any questions for her, Zach? So I actually have a... Um, I did want to ask you, like, but you already kind of covered it, your inspiration for starting your YouTube channel. But I have a couple questions that we're going to put her through at the end of the show. Okay. That's so cool. We'll, cool. Uh, save we'll save it. For then. Yep. We'll save it. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess we can, we can move on into fine additions for if you got anything cool in the last little bit here. I know Zach did. I don't know if you want to start. I'll start. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because well, you're actually, your fine edition. It'll okay. segue a little bit. You're right. You're right. I just yeah. know your fine edition was blowing up my phone. It was driving me insane. I'm uh, sorry. But I, it's okay. I still love you, buddy. Uh, I will go first, though, because mine isn't super crazy. I only got two figures this week. One is the I finished my Rogue One collection with the updated faces with Baze Malbus. Uh, and I think Baze is the best of the new ones, like face wise. Uh, I just did oh, a video. Awesome. Yeah, I just did a video where I compared them all. If you want to go take a look at it on my channel, uh, I open them and give my first impressions. But of all of them, I think Baze is the biggest difference. Um, and I think Cassian Andor is the second biggest difference. Uh, because he actually has a beard instead of like a weird goatee now. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but my my second thing here, I have this nice little package. Uh, and I, I haven't opened this yet because I wanted to kind of make it a special unboxing. But there's a story first. So I guess sit back and get a little get a little drinky. Uh, and yeah, there you go. So a couple weeks ago. And you'll remember this, Zach, because we talked about it. Um, someone linked me on Hasbro Pulse Toy Shop eBay. It's like the official Hasbro oh, eBay page. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I know. What they you're, they I link because 
I'm only missing one figure, one unique figure in my Black Series collection, and that's the Kylo Ren that came with the Starkiller base centerpiece that was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive in 2018. I didn't buy it because I didn't know there was an actual figure in it. I thought it was just like one of those centerpiece things, but the Kylo Ren is an actual figure. That's the most confusing uh, thing in the world. Why it would really they put is. a statue no. and a figure in the same Yeah, and set? it's, it's the same kind of unmasked figure. He just has a snow deco and the, he has and, the, and he the has scar. the he has like yeah. battle damage scar. And I think it actually is the only Kylo Ren with digital face printing as well, because they did that in twenty eighteen. Anyways, so I went to go buy it. It's like a hundred bucks for the centerpiece, and I want it for a stupid twenty dollar figure. But you know, the weird things we do as collectors to go uh to having a complete collection, I guess. Uh, and I hemmed and hawed about getting it, but I couldn't order it because uh, the person that runs that eBay account was on break for whatever reason. <laughs> so it would not let me buy it, even though I wanted to buy it. Uh, yeah. And then someone else, I don't remember who, and I apologize if you're the person that did this, but someone else told me on AliExpress, they sell it not like mm-hmm. KO. They sell that figure as a KO. So, I bought that, and it just came here today. Uh, and I'm I'm gonna call it if this is exactly what I wanted it to be. I'm not gonna buy that, but I have I have it up here just in case this isn't good. But oh my goodness, is it good? For, like first quick impression. First quick impression. Hold on, it's good. Let me uh, let me make myself big. So here. AliExpress usually is oh, pretty solid with knockoffs. Like you can get all the clones mm-hmm. for pretty good prices. Well, I was just wor- I was a little worried because I didn't know uh, how the face would be because you know like a, a trooper is one thing, but having yeah. something with with a face is completely different. Here, let me um, get my camera controls. So, oh, not not that one. There we go. Let's go back to widescreen. There we go. Okay. Let me autofocus here so that we can. Come on. Come on. Why do I have to make this so hard? There we go. Uh, There we go. Yep. Perfect. Honestly, that looks really good. I really like that. Yeah, that looks like the, the actual one. Yeah, it really, yeah, it does. really does. And like, there's no way you'd be able to tell that's a knockoff. The the plastic quality feels the same. Like uh in in some cases, like with the uh with the with the gin, uh with the wobbly legs and stuff, it feels better. Uh mm-hmm. I'm really impressed with this. It even has I didn't even notice this. It even has uh the the bowcaster wound oh, nice. on the side right there. So this is one of those figures that, the, like I said, the only way to get it was in that centerpiece that was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. And by the time I figured that out, they were long sold out. And even then, it, and when the retail price was $110. And I, mm-hmm. don't, like, I don't like centerpieces. Uh, and it was basically a, a Kylo Ren I already had. But now that I get a good look at it, it's not. So I think I'm actually going to do a little a little video on this. He comes with the the weapon for um <laughs> is this is this Constable Zuvio's weapon? It looks like it. I think it's yeah, Constable Zuvio's weapon. I think so. Uh, so I'm going to give him one of my spare Kylo Ren uh, lightsabers because like, I've got a couple mm. from you know yeah. having random random Kylo Rens. But I'm very pleased with this. This is really cool. So I guess uh. Bonus points there for AliExpress, and thank you to the person who told me about that because uh, I'm really happy. And he just fell over. Peace. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to go next, um, Victoria? You got anything for us? Sure. Not to show, but I do have um, looking over at the shelf uh, down there a little bit, and mm-hmm. for Black Series specifically, I did get the uh, the new Ahsoka uh, last week. Cool. Yep. And uh great figure. I love the likeness. Mm-hmm. She is mm-hmm. she's stunning. The articulation is is pretty is very nice. The lightsabers, you know, mm-hmm. very thick blades, very vibrant love light. Them. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And I also got the uh two of the um uh, Death Watch Mandos. Um cool. and also a great figure. I, I get so irritated though with how easily the backpacks fall off. 
Agreed. Yeah. I was very disappointed. Although on one of mine, it stays on better than the other. So I think it is weirdly like a case by case basis because one of them doesn't have a problem. The other one falls off if you look at it funny. Yeah. So. And I think the the pistol, they have a little bit of a hard time holding it. Um, mm-hmm. But um, still, it's still a gorgeous looking figure. It looks it looks mm-hmm. awesome. Agreed. Cool. Uh, I guess that leaves you, Zach. All righty. So, um, where do I start? Um, so, I guess I'll start with what I got in the mail. My pre-order for the Darth Revan archive finally shipped a while ago. So, I'll set that back there. So, I finally it took long enough to get him. Um, and then, so I was at ICCC Con in Nashville this past weekend, and they have like the owner doesn't charge a whole like a whole lot for vendors to have a table or whatever so you can actually so there's not like such a big like upcharge on a lot of figures there which is really cool um so i was able to fill some holes just like some trooper holes in my collection for pretty cheap Uh, i found some loose troopers i got the the normal version of the the scarif trooper for 15 bucks loose so that's a a solid deal and i got the finally able to re-add this to my collection uh i got a thai pilot for ten dollars loose nice so excited about that because i've always wanted because that's like a classic you have to have in the collection and i got rid of it a long Mm -hmm. time ago it's one of the ones that i hadn't like because there's still some figures i got to go back and get you know online and that's just one of the ones i haven't pulled the trigger on yet but i found it for 10 bucks couldn't pass it up and this is another one i never pulled the trigger on and i've actually never had it but this is like I didn't realize how awesome this figure was until I got it in hand and actually was able to look at it. And I think it's kind of underrated because you never see or hear anybody talking about it. Um, I got the the Range Trooper from Solo mm-hmm. for $10 loose. And the reason these were 10 because it doesn't come with a blaster, but I just kind of That's gave a like better a looking blaster for him. Yeah, I, like yeah. I, I kind of grabbed one of my... Cause you know they come with like the E11 year or whatever, mm-hmm. anyways. So and you, I have like 50 of those in my little egg tub of extra accessories. Mm-hmm. So you can just get many like random blaster. But yeah, this figure is. I, I actually really love this figure now. It is it's pretty sick with the actual fur. Like I feel like I'm so late talking about this right now, you know. But I've never mm-hmm. had it and and the boots. Like are you kidding me? This is insane. This is crazy. And he's like bulky. Yeah, that's like actually one of my new favorite like troopers. If I'm being honest. Um, I think he looks more like a snow trooper than an actual snow trooper. Like if you showed yeah, me a snow exactly, trooper yeah. and that trooper next to, and asked me which one was the snow trooper, I would 100% choose that one. Yeah, he's got the time. fur yeah. and like the really Yeah, thick, he looks like he's know, geared for cold. And so exactly. That. Yeah. Um and before I get to the big fine edition, I found somebody one of the vendors was selling the archive 501st clone trooper for 20 bucks. That's like a steal. That's less than mm-hmm. retail that they didn't. These are twenty two ninety nine, right? So how many does that make for you now? Um, I have two loose, and uh, I have two in box. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. So I'm here to announce that we are going to be giving this one away for a Patreon exclusive giveaway. Um, I'm not sure. Like maybe we'll do oh like when goodness. we get to. Should we do a date or you know should what? we do like like a number like when we get to I'm 30 pages? I'm going to add to that. I'm going to add to that. Oh. I'm I'm going to add this to no it. No way. Absolutely. Why not? We're doing this on the fly, folks. We did not discuss this. Yes, we once. did not at all. But uh if you are on our Patreon, uh we have two figures, Zach's 501st and my Walmart exclusive Clone Wars Arc Trooper in package here. So yep, if you and they're would, if you would like sealed. to absolutely uh, and immaculate because I actually sold someone the one with the bad box because he was mm-hmm. just going to open it for a custom anyway. So I gave him the bad box one, and now we've got Primo. Nice. Um, so. so so I guess do we do these together or two yeah? Let's do them. Let's do them. Let's do them together. Let's just. Let's just to choose two winners. Uh, what day are we going to do this? So give people that are listening to this a chance to join our Patreon if they want to be 
part right, let me, of let the me giveaway. Pull up the calendar. So today we are recording on the fifth. The fifth. Yeah. How about we do the end of the month, the thirty first. End of the month, the thirty first. So we have we have the ninth. We'll record the nineteenth. You know what? Because we'll because it charges on the first, and if we do it on the thirty first, people might cancel. So let's do it on the first. If you are a Patreon member on the first. Yes. So, but we'll let's, announce it on the the show we record on June second. How about correct. that? Correct. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And then, so big giveaway for patrons, and then we'll we'll work it out. Like maybe oh, you'll yeah. get like multiple and like more entries for like whichever tier. We'll we'll, Keep, we'll talk if, about if it. If you want to know more about it, check out our Patreon. Yes. By the time this is up, we'll have details. Like yes. I said, this is literally just off the, on the off fly. The cu- uh, yeah, um, on the fly. <laughs> So my final fine edition for this episode is something that's literally as of today has 99,000 views on TikTok. I went to ICCCCon. No, ICCCon. How many how many Cs? 3 C. I triple C. It's just so hard <laughs> yeah, to say. Yeah, it rolls it off is the really tongue. It's really hard to say. Yeah. Wonderfully, doesn't it? Does it does not. <laughs> <laughs> um but I met Ian McDermott himself, the emperor. And I had him sign my Black Series. Well, I bought this at the con because I needed an Emperor. I, I was going to say, you didn't bring that yeah, with it. Yeah. yeah. So I was originally going to do, I was going to buy one of the Clone Wars Ahsoka figures, have mm-hmm. her. But I was there and I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting Ian signature. I'm going to meet him. It was VIP oh, sure. day when I was yeah. there on Friday. So yeah. I literally waited 15 minutes. Check this out. I got. I waited 15 minutes. I was like three people away, four, three, three or four people away. And they pull Ian away and they're like, you got to do photos and you got to go on the main stage. Mm-hmm. So he left and they told me, they're like, we're honestly not sure if he's coming back to sign today. I was like, but I waited already. Um, yeah. So then the guy who was doing the line, I was walking, like I had, you know, this figure in the bag and stuff. I was just walking the hallway of the con and the guy who was managing the line said, hey, you were waiting on Ian. Like he's back. Come here. So he like skipped me in front of the line since I had already waited earlier in the day, you know. That was um, cool. That was cool. That's yeah. cool. I wish I would have known Julian Glover was going to be there because I would have bought um, a General Veers. Yeah, for mm-hmm. him to for him to sign. But Ian. So was how the was nicest Ian? Guy yeah, ever. how was Ian? Yeah. nicest. Okay. I, Ian was absolutely the nicest guy ever, and I actually thanked him for not electrocuting me. And he replied, "That's because other people are in the room." Um, so <laughs> he implied that if other people weren't there, he would have like he would have zapped me to death. Yeah. Um, but he was great. I asked him to sign it, so be it, dot, dot, dot. And he, like, he said Jedi, like, he already knew the line, which was pretty badass, in my opinion. Um, okay, I was going to ask, is that something that he wanted, or is that something that you wanted? Like, Yeah, that was per my request um, that right. he put. Because so, I was trying to think of a, I didn't want him to write something, like, super long. Do so it. I was Googling, yeah, I was Googling, like, really quick lines he said in, like, mm-hmm. like all of his dialogue in Return of the Jedi, since that's from, you know, Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi, yeah. Yeah, I wish I had an extra, you know, throne room emperor like in box or something to have him sign. But um, but yeah, yeah, so you I'm did really literally choose this. the worst yeah. Palpatine for him to sign. I know. Um, I should have got like a vintage okay. collection one or something, but right. Um, but you can't go wrong. It's still it's no. sealed. You know, this is gonna be yeah. you know the center. I ordered a a case for it. If anybody knows, yeah, let me put like a like a an SOS or something. I ordered like a regular plastic case for this, but I really want a nice like acrylic case that'll fit the blue box black series line. So if anybody knows of like places who have those like really nice acrylic cases that fit the blue box black series, please send me a DM. You know where to find me. Um, so yeah, that was uh, ICC con was great. Um, next year, anybody living in like my area or near Nashville, I would highly recommend it because especially VIP day, there was literally like, it was insane how little people there were. Like it was still full, but there were 350 people in the whole convention. And on Saturday there were over a thousand. Wow. So you can go on Friday, you can get all the autographs you want. Like you can no wait in no lines and, um, yeah, so, and the vendors are, they were all really, really awesome. You know what? Next year, I might try to go, just just for fun. We'll go hang out. Uh, I my, my, One of my other YouTube buddies, Josh Pence, went, mm-hmm. and it, it'd be cool just to kind of, like, just to kind of be yeah. there. Yeah, uh, for, for sure. And, and you know, uh, Victoria can back me up on this. San Diego Comic-Con sucks. 
<laughs> is it too crowded? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's so there's, bad. There's times where you can't even walk. You're just like packed in so tight oh, that wow. you can barely move. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely yeah. recommend it. And like, yeah, come down. We can spend the weekend in Nashville. You know, have some beers. Have some. I've breweries, always wanted you know? to go to Nashville. Honestly, I think it'd be kind of fun. I know my wife would love to go. She loves Nashville as like a city. So oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe like make a, a whole weekend out of it. It's yeah. kind of fun. Yeah. Um, also, last thing about ICC Con, I was on the podcast stage on Saturday morning with Nilda from Nilda Listens. She does Appetite for mm-hmm. Collectibles and Sleeping Collectibles. So go follow. Oh, that's them. cool. Yeah. For yep, sure. So if you go to Appetite for Collectibles YouTube page, if you want to watch my 15 minutes of fame on the podcast stage um you can do that so but yeah you're finally famous you're finally finally, famous i am finally famous and i met a lot of cool people there like uh got you gave them our podcast information Mm -hmm. so hopefully they're listening if i met you at i triple c hello thank you for listening and and uh and yeah i met some cool people i'd like to have on the show so um, send us an email follow us on twitter and drop us a line yep we'd love to know and i'm so Um, lonely (laughs) <laughs> jesus christ right. um, should we talk about the stuff that we should talk about on the yes. podcast you yeah. should make us even first oh right screen. thank you i know i'm really bad at this part uh first firstly we're gonna do this there we go now all is right with the world firstly yesterday was may the 4th and i thought about having a special may the 4th podcast but then i realized that's more work for me and i'm not gonna do it uh but <laughs> Today is the day after May the 4th. Be with me. All right, well, say you want to say it on three? No, I'm not going to say it. What do you mean? I'm not going to, because it's dumb. It's not dumb. It's It's Revenge of the 5th. No, it's Revenge of the 6th. It's Revenge of the 5th. 6th sounds way more like Sith than 5th does. Yeah, but it's just, it's back to back. We need a tiebreaker. We need a tiebreaker. Victoria, come on. (laughs) Which side of this are you on? No. Join the dark no. side, Victoria. Say which which side? side? Fit? Oh, Are you uh, fit? I mean, I kind of like having the buffer in there. So, uh, thank you. May the fourth, Cinco no, de Mayo, bro. and then Revenge Cinco de, de Mayo. Mace, and I think it's mostly because we we live in Southern California, and Cinco de Mayo is a much bigger thing here than than it is in Nashville or Knox or no Louisville, whatever, whatever I'm going Southern red Bumpkin light, State. So I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the dark Listen, side. Listen. Real Star Wars Day is May 25th anyway, so anything outside of that is a fake fake holiday. So Tomorrow is that's, Return of the 6th. That's not even a thing. You're yes, reaching so far on that, you're going <laughs> to you're going to you're going to pull something cuz you didn't stretch first. I know. Uh, right? but but yesterday we had a live stream from the Hasbro Star Wars team and I personally thought it was just fine. I thought it was in fact not even bad. I thought it was kind of good. But I'm surprised at how many people didn't like it and I honestly don't get it. I don't understand the it's like they just really want to hate it so they decided they hated it anyway even though like it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad, you know? Like but people are acting like this is again just the worst thing they've ever seen in Hasbro's awful. Yeah. Uh did you get that impression? Yeah, I actually, Either I you? think, yeah, I thought the production value of this one was better. Like they got mm-hmm. that new stage, which is really nice. Yeah. Um, and they I the, turned down the gain on a couple of the microphones yeah, there. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the only thing. Um, I, yeah. The, the production value is definitely getting there. Like they're mm-hmm. not, no, it's not as great as that Marvel Legends stream from a couple no. weeks ago was, but that was sure. one of the best ones that has ever like best live streams they've done since this whole covid live stream you know era um so i i mean it's fine like they reveal the figures like patrick's not there to kind of <laughs> the to i mean and he's a he's fine but like he's, he's not fine there to, yeah but he he has a certain uh we've talked about it before i don't want to yeah. stomp it in no we don't want to be mean he's a he's a nice i'm sure he's a nice guy he's but yeah, on yeah. stage his presence there are better uh i love Jing. i mean yes, emily's always yes. a treat uh, Eric is great. Uh, so like, I don't know. I, everyone on the stage 
was fine. Uh, there was one weird Facebook post where someone was ogling over Gene. He's like, oh, this Asian chick is hot. I'm like, dude, <laughs> come on, man. It's like, it's 2022. Like, don't be weird about this. She's a person. Like, yeah. What are you like ogling on the the toy girl on your on your computer? Yeah, like that's just weird. Yeah, but Victoria, yeah. So what do you think of the uh, the yeah, live stream? Give us give us your general thoughts of the live stream. Yeah, it was good. I couldn't watch until I got home, but um, yeah, yeah. it was uh, it, it was yeah. The production value, you know, has definitely gotten better on these. And um, they had R two. R two was there. R two. They've was come there. a long way. They have come a long <laughs> way with their production value. Yeah. They definitely have. And um, yeah, no, I, I, I thought it was pretty good. I think Black Series mm-hmm. uh, shined a little bit more in this one than Vintage. Mm-hmm. And, um, uh, you know, all the way, not just the figures, but the role play stuff as well. Yeah. Um, and there was there's a lot to be excited about from this one. So uh, when I got my little break in the morning, uh, I, t- I, I went on my phone real quick and placed my pre-orders because there was a lot. <laughs> oh, this morning? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my boss scheduled me a meeting with his boss. And it's a one-on-one meeting at 10 a.m. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sure nothing's going to sell out because nothing was, like, crazy or exclusive or anything like that. But I'm like, come on. <laughs> so, yeah. like, I'm in a meeting with my boss's boss. And I'm, like, on the on low-key, like, pre-ordering things while we're talking, trying to do two things at one time. It was uh, it was fun, I guess. Yeah. Um, it was funny because... We have a team meeting, like me and like my eight other like team members. We have a team meeting every Monday morning, but it got pushed to Tuesday, and then it got pushed to Wednesday at ten a.m. And I'm like, "Are you kidding me? Like, what are the odds? Come on, two days to the live show. I'm in. I'm on the laptop on the meeting because we're in like different offices, of course. But so I have like my phone. I was watching it, the Hasbro stream on mute, so I had to like I watched half of it on mute. The other half, I was able to listen to my AirPods. Then I had to go back and listen to the audio of the fir- audio of the audio of the first half. Um, so yeah, freaking work getting yeah. in the way, you know. Right, the, the, the troubles, the struggles of being an adult collector <laughs> and having them do things like during yeah. work times. That's that's the worst. But I guess but, we got to yeah, pay for about, all that somehow, you know. That's right. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about what they revealed. So uh, the first one was. What was the was the first one Princess Leia? That was the first one, right? I think. Uh, I think so. Um, that was a pipeline. We we'd had that in the pipeline, so now we're yep. seeing it in person. I think what? most of these were pipeline, weren't they? Yeah, I think they all. Um, one of them wasn't. It was a rumor that turned out to be true because it was Yak Face, and he's just always spot yeah. on with his rumors. Yeah. Um, yeah. but Princess Leia, I think looks great. I do think her face is a little serious, like. I don't, I don't know like it, it's fine but it, it and it's hard to tell from a picture online versus in person cuz mm-hmm. it always looks a little different like when when they did Padme I thought her face looked really dumb online but then when you got it in person you're like oh that's actually pretty good yeah uh so it's really hard to judge a figure based on a photo online but I she does look a little ser- like like not not yeah. not straight face neutral but maybe a little stern I don't know yeah. I think it's cool they gave her a spear. And mm-hmm. I just want to say I'm sick and tired of people, like all the comments, especially if you go on like my page and stuff. Uh-huh. I, I love my followers, but some of the community, like I'm sick and tired of whenever they're revealed, like a Leia, everybody's like, oh, this is the new Lando. Like we need in the Drives Black Series, insane. we need, we and it's going to peg around, like, we need every version of Leia that we mm-hmm. can get. You don't have mm-hmm. to buy every single version of Leia. That's why they make or are making every single version mm-hmm. of Leia. If you don't want the Ewok Village version, don't order it. If you don't want the Bespin Escape version, skip it. Don't order it. But I'm just tired of everybody complaining about one. Like, they release an original trilogy character who the actress is dead and gone now. You know, and she's like a legend. And we're getting an mm-hmm. action figure of her. Stop complaining about it. Okay, I end agree. Rant. Yeah, hundred percent agree, uh, and I honestly I think that says a lot more about the collectors than it does Hasbro. Because like I mean I at no point would I ever want Hasbro to not make a Lando and not make a Leia. Like you need those, and I want every yeah. outfit they they have. Like we're still waiting on Lando and his Han Solo outfit from the end of Empire Strikes Back. Uh, still waiting on Leia now in her Bespin gown. Like I want those. I want those the so Rangers, bad. Yep. Exactly, and yep. the the idea. 
And it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy where they'll go, oh, it's just going to peg warm. I'm not going to buy it. And like, yeah, if you have that attitude, of course, because no one's buying it. You know why? I mean, I'm not going to call you like, you know, misogynist or a racist for not buying a black or woman character, but it kind of feels like that a little <laughs> bit, just a little bit. If, if that's, if, if you just see, oh, Lando, you know, lay a girl, black guy, not going to buy him. Like, what's your reasoning for that? Like, why, <laughs> why, why aren't you going to buy them? What's the reasoning? That's all I'm asking is I'm just asking questions. What's the reasoning? You know, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I personally love Lando as a character. I love Leia as a character. I love Carrie Fisher as an actress. I want all of them on my shelf in my collection. Uh, you don't have to. You don't have to want all of them. Maybe you could pick and choose which ones, you know, which versions resonate. But to say you don't want them at all, kind of weird. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Especially, you know, I mean, they're not just... You know, like you're saying, uh, I mean, they're actually like core characters, you know, right. They're like, it's a core character. <laughs> they're literally legacy character. They're legacy <laughs> characters. I, I just did a video on my channel of top 10 OT figures that you should have in your collection. I've been meaning and to watch that one. Yeah, I saw that. I felt really bad for putting Princess Leia down at number six, but I'm like, you have to have a Leia in your collection. And I've had so many comments of people saying, well, I wouldn't put Leia or Lando in there. I'd put like Tarkin. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, take take Tarkin. the woman and the black guy. Yeah, right. <laughs> take the woman and the black guy out. Put put another old white guy in. Sure, why not? Like, sure, go ahead Sounds and do like it. Politics. <laughs> Right? No, right? I just like no, you need you need a Lando and you need a Leia and it's not yeah. because it's a black guy and a girl. It's because they are core characters. <laughs> like yeah. they're part of the main squad. Like why wouldn't yeah, and you pe- want them? People yeah. act like every time we get a Lando or a Leia that they just released a third version of Bail Organa, you know, from the prequels and Clone Wars. Like, yeah, we need one Bail Ar- Organa, but I understand if they did a three, two or three Bail Organas. <laughs> this sure. one has his cape sure. all the way over on his shoulder. Yes. You know, like, yeah. But, but these are legacy, like super, mm-hmm. like legendary legacy yeah. characters. So. Exactly. Exactly. That's just all I had to uh, say about that. No, one. it's, and they're, they're all good points. I'm Hasbro. I know you're not listening, but if you're listening, and I know you are listening, I just said all three because one of them is right. Uh, <laughs> Princess Leia is a good addition and it's high time after nine years of the line being out that we got the Ewok celebration Leia. So thank yeah. you for giving us that. Yeah. Cause we got some Ewoks in the line now. So it yeah, just makes, we it got, just makes we have one and a half cause I'm not counting Pop Lou cause he wasn't mm-hmm. really like, he hasn't yeah. been released in the main line yet. Although Hasbro, it's way past time to give us Pop Lou. I mean. Yeah, I have him because I have that lion, but I don't want to open it up. I, I like it in the box, but I want a pop blue on my shelf. <sighs> Anyways, what's the point yeah. in buying it then, Mike? If you're just going to keep it in the box, I don't <laughs> know, man. I've got issues. Okay, <laughs> I'm a human. I being. haven't opened it either. I have it in the box. Thank too. you. Just, it just I just haven't gotten around to it. The way because they posed it in the box so well, mm-hmm. I just think it piece, lo- yeah. it's a display piece exactly. Uh, and I'm not, I'm an opener. Everyone knows that I open the Kenner Boba Fett. Like I'm an opener, but if it's just standing in a bubble, like statically, I, I don't really care about that. But if it's like posed on a speeder bike, like he's speeding through the forest or the cool forest background, like I'm going to have more trouble opening that because yeah. it's a cool display. Uh, but next we have a figure that I have wanted since day one, because these are some of my favorite characters in the entirety of Star Wars. To me, nothing is more Star Wars than that cantina scene in A New Hope. And the peop- the thing that ties that whole scene together is the cantina band. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Ex- yep. Exactly. Which I learned that, that the name of that song is Mad About Me, I guess. <laughs> just, so, just so you know. Uh, Cantina <laughs> band number one is called Mad About Me. Cantina band number two is called like Dune C. So, uh, do, I, I looked it up. Dune C Special, which is not as good of a song uh, title. But we're getting Figrin Dan. Friggin Figrin Dan. Yeah, it's about time that uh, we get some Cantina action time. on the Black Series way Cantina. Past, way past and, time. On the Cantina crossover, we get the Cantina we get band. Cantina, so it, exactly. it just, it just makes it's sense. like it's kismet. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. So I and he comes with three different instruments. 
We've got the clue horn. We've got the fizz. And I had to look in the fanfare. I had to look these up because like there's no way my 40 year old <laughs> brain is going to remember literal nonsense words. These are baby talk nonsense words. No. Oh, fanfare. OK, yeah, sure. <laughs> clue horn. Yeah. Uh, but as a saxophone player, personally, I definitely in on this. What are your thoughts? Victoria, I'll hand this one to you. Yeah, no, this is uh, like like you guys are saying, uh, canteen aliens are way overdue. You know, finally, we got uh, Ponda Baba, Doctor of His Own last year. Mm-hmm. And, you know, those were I mean, Greedo had been the first like wave one, two, I, I believe he was, wave and two, yep. since, you know, and all that time, you know, it, mm-hmm. it took years to get the other two and now they're continuing to build it out. So, uh, you know, the only, the only thing I I'm having trouble with is, is the number of modal nodes you would need to complete the (laughs) band. Um, I did order the, the deluxe one this morning and Mm -hmm. I, and I ordered two of the regular ones. So that's going to have a three member brain. Okay. So you have a three member brain. That's cool. Um, I, I suspect because I, I, I just wouldn't, it just wouldn't be right to only have three at some point I would get the others, but, um, Yeah. yeah, I'm really excited about these and, you know, just having the different instruments. I remember that, uh, with the 12 inch, uh, that Walmart had back in the collector series in the Mm -hmm. nineties, you had, they sold every single, all six of them individually. And each of them had a, had an instrument. So you had to buy the the whole thing six times to get every single instrument. That sounds pure evil. That sounds (laughs) pure evil. (laughs) You know, I got, I got into a fight with, with somebody on Instagram yesterday. He, He said, and I quote, the balls on Hasbro for announcing the same figure twice on on a live stream and i just like what how how else would they do it like it's literally the same person like six or seven or eight times depending on how many cantina members you think there are like it's it they're not different <laughs> you know like how yeah, else would yeah. you do it if you want a full set you know when back in the power of the force two days because i was just thinking about this and i made a a tweet about it um the, the first can i had the first cantina band member and Power of the Force 2. It came out, it was a mail-away figure. I had to mail away to the Star Wars uh, fan club. I don't remember how much it was, but I remember it being kind of expensive because you had to get shipping and stuff too. And it was one member and he came with five instruments. Uh, and you can get one or you could get five. And and you get that. I just got the one and I had five instruments. I would just kind of switch out as I wanted. But uh, he was the first figure to have elbows that you could like move up and down. Because pretty much every figure before that was just kind of standard articulation. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was so cool that I finally have a, a figure that can move his elbows. I remember putting a mm-hmm. lightsaber in his hand because he could hold it <laughs> two-handed. It was like the first figure I had that could hold a, a figure, a that lightsaber like two-handed. like like comic. I know, right? Figuring Dan with his lightsaber going crazy. But yeah, I guess to, to kind of move on, um, we have that. Is it a Hasbro Pulse exclusive? Because the the As live now, stream, I guess the live stream is the only place you can buy it right now. But on the live stream, they're like on shelves in spring or whatever. And I'm like, well, if it's Hasbro exclusive, how's it how's it going to be on shelves? You know, but, underwear has shelves. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, but but we're getting Nalen Chiel. Those are the only two named characters we're getting as of now. And he was uh, we talked about him on the last episode or the one before that, where he comes with the drums. He comes with a band yep. fill and he comes with the Omni box and the Omni box has a seat, which is, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Cool. It's like connected. Think, yeah, exactly. And he comes with two extra hands. So if you want to get a whole set, you can buy one deluxe and that comes with enough instruments and enough extra hands to play those instruments where you could fill the rest in with just figure and dance. Uh, and you can have a whole set. So I on order, I think I have seven in total. Yeah, that's the number. So if you want that's, to have them yeah, all seven. That, that's that's the one. Yep. Uh I've got one from the Wave 33 box. I've got two from Hasbro Pulse. Uh, because that was the limit. And then which is weird that they limited it to two when it's like an it's literally an army builder. Like if you only buy two, you don't have enough to to use all three instruments he comes with. Uh but then I've got I think three more on order. From Amazon, so we'll see yeah. what comes out when. I how many up, guys? Yeah, how many guys getting? 
Um, I was debating just getting three, like having mm-hmm. one on the drums, like sitting down and then two playing. And I was like, that's, that'd be fine. I'm staying on the corner with shelf three. But then I somehow ended up with four because I got, I pour, I pre-ordered the case, which will have one. Mm-hmm. Have one. Yep. And then I got obviously the deluxe and then I wanted an extra one. So, and then I, so I went on GameStop. And then I I order I pre ordered two because you get free shipping if you do over thirty five. So I was like, mm-hmm. well, I'll just get two. I'll get the free shipping also. So it ends up not being that much extra for the second one. And sure. then I'll have four. So I'll have four band members, and I feel like that's pretty solid. Like, I mean, I won't have the full six or seven, but I feel like four for my shelf at least is, is plenty. Sure. So yeah, and, and that's what I love about the way they did it is you can have whatever's good for you. If you just want the one or you know one mm-hmm. each. Just have two, like you can do that. If you want to have twenty, like you yeah, can do that you, you too. Could. Could. Uh, I guess the legends number is there are eight band members because there was like one other guy that was a Bith sitting like in a in a booth in the cantina. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's the legends number is eight members. The canon number is seven members, uh, and then they have enough because like I guess one member. There's two members that play the same instrument. I don't remember mm-hmm. which one, because again, all those instruments are basically nonsense words. So I just, I, my brain simply yeah. won't won't let me remember. I remember clue horn and omnibox, and mm-hmm. that's about it. Did but, you see uh, that our uh, great Patreon supporter Lance Peter Luke already got it in hand? Yes, he Isn't got that it insane? from yeah from uh, he got, that store. That yeah, he, he got it from near, Franken right? Sons. There's a store in Franken Sons that gets stuff ridiculously early. Uh, and it's crazy because he got it the same day it was announced. Like, what yeah. the heck? <laughs> yeah, literally insane. Shout out Lance Peter yeah. Luke. Shout, shout out to Lance Peter Luke. Uh, so you already know. Like, I haven't talked to him since, mm-hmm. but you already know he's working on, if he hasn't already, I could I could have, like, not seen the post, but you know he's working on a 3D print for, like, of course. A ba- an area to have the band, yeah. of right? Of course. Um, yeah. But cool. Moving well, on, yeah. Any other so thoughts in, on the band? No, not really. I've got I've got too many on order, and it's been a very expensive day because specifically because of those. Figures. I saw your tweet. Been, yeah. Yes, it's been a very expensive day. Uh, but that's a, that's a problem for future Mike. Uh, these aren't supposed to come out. <laughs> these aren't supposed to come out until like what was it like January of 2023 or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. I think it'll be earlier than that. I know they've been overestimating their shipping time, so people don't get mad when. When it slips by, but I have a feeling, and I don't have any insider information, so don't quote me on this, but I have a feeling, just based on experience, it'll be before that. I don't know how long. I'm thinking probably September, October, personally, because that's about, you know, like, we just got 32, wave 32, and that was only supposed, that was supposed to be out until next year anyway, and it's been, like, way earlier than that. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I just have a feeling that we're going to get it before that. Yeah, I would say so. I would say yeah. so. Victoria, any last comments on the the uh, Cantina band members? No, nope, just that they look good and um, mm-hmm. ready to get some of them. Yeah, over over ready. <laughs> and I so don't I remember, let's, oh, go ahead, before go we ahead. go into the next thing on the list, let's talk about the New Republic Joy because that's the that's the last figure that we can see if you order a case of figures. So yes, Wave Thirty Three is orderable. On like Dorkside Toys, Entertainment Earth, uh, and I I ordered a case and it's got the Leia, it's got Figure and Dan, and it's got the New Republic security droid, which was another pipeline figure, uh, and then it's got four more mystery characters. One is double packed, and three more like individual mystery mm, characters that all have code names. Yeah. yeah, they're all unique. They all have code names. They're all and California. Most likely be all from yeah. Kenobi. Yeah. I think so too, because yeah. one is definitely Kenobi, which got it's weirdly not. It got well, it got yeah. Uh, what well, Yakface that, said it, so it's if, if Yakface said it, he said it. Uh, but you, you and McGregor showed off Obi Wan Kenobi last night on Jimmy Kimmel, so that's definitely a figure, hundred percent. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the double packed one, personally. It, it probably will be because I think they want to get well. Uh, yeah, I think it will be because. They want to get that Kenobi figure like to the masses, I would mm-hmm. assume. You know, so double packing that one makes so much sense. When did they say that um like the Leia and Figure and Dan uh, would be out? 
So I, I don't know that off the top of my head, but I know they said the Kenobi figure is spring of 2023. And if he's going to be in that case, then I would, but I would assume it's going to be sooner than that, closer to January, you know. So on Hasbro's website, it says January 1st, 2023 for Princess Leia. I'm assuming that's that's the whole case. Yeah, yeah. it's just weird because they specifically said spring 2023 for Ken- the Kenobi they did. figure. So. Yeah, so, so it could be different. If they're in the same case, yeah. I feel like it'll be closer to because they've know. been getting stuff out. All yeah. I know is we have Pretty four mystery figures too. in this case. Yeah, that's yeah, gonna be interesting these, to see what they reveal. They all say spring 2023. So, so yeah, it's possible they're in the same same wave. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about the security droid. I, I remember whenever that was, I think that was Pipeline, I'm pretty sure. It was Pipeline, yep. And I, I'm pretty sure whenever we recorded that episode, I said I was going to order two of those. But Did I you? Ordered the, I ordered the case, and I'm not going to pre-order like another individual one. So if I see an extra one on the shelf, yep. I'd consider picking it up. But Because I know like in the show, they walk in a line, you know, which is cool. But I think Single files to hide their numbers. Yeah, single file, well, they were also next to each other, but single no. file, yeah. There were two two lines, but <laughs> I think for now, just because also because my Mandalorian shelf is like, well, my Full. two Mandalorian slash Boba Fett, Book of Boba Fett shelves are like mm-hmm. super packed, so I need to get another shelf right here. I think I'm just going to go with the one in the case for now, and then if I see one on the shelf, I'll probably pick it up. I ended up ordering two. I wasn't planning on it. But the first place I went when orders went live was Hasbro Pulse because I pay for premium and I want to use my free shipping. Yeah. Um, and then I was on Dork Side to get more figure and Dan's and I saw they had the whole case and I was like, well, I'm just going to order the whole case. And now, and then I canceled my, my Leia and I almost canceled the Republic droid, but I was like, eh, I could use two Republic droids. Mm-hmm. So that that's how I ordered my second Republic droid. Victoria, are you picking up the... The uh, security droid. Yep, I pre-ordered two as well. I, it's a, right. it's a cool looking figure. I it like is. Hundred mm-hmm. percent um, new. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, I saw someone say, "Oh, it's just gonna be a K two S O." I'm like, you didn't watch the you didn't watch the live stream clearly because yeah. they addressed they, that. They addressed that specifically. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you, Victoria. I just was like, yeah, no, it looks cool. I hope it yeah. has the. Uh, the little uh, arm tool that pops out to unlock mm-hmm. doors. That'd be, that'd be a nice oh, inclusion. Cool. The scomp link, which I learned that's what that's called, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again, nonsense <laughs> words. I like it. Yeah. Scomp link. <laughs> yeah. Right on. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think the new Republic security droid looks cool. It definitely isn't a K2O remold because they specifically said K2SO is too tall. Yeah. And they did all new mold. But um, that leaves us with one last reveal that's going to be contentious for a couple reasons. You know, I'm not going to lie. When they first mm-hmm. revealed the 187th Clone Trooper, my first like instant reaction was, "Holy shit, another Clone Trooper!" <laughs> that was like <laughs> that was like my first like re- like an instant reaction because I know when they announced the past- it's Walgreens. I know or, or, exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. But like, I remember. Like, I remember many shows ago. I've said, just put this new clone body. Just put out all the paint apps, and they're listening mm-hmm. to us. Like, they're putting, yeah. they are putting out clones on top of Pump clones. those it clones crazy. out. Yeah, and I'm excited for it. But I was like, I was kind of taken aback. Like, I can't believe they're actually hammering these clones home. Like, they seemed like they were resistant to in the past. There, mm-hmm. it seems like every single live stream. Or every couple months we get a new clone color, which I think is really cool. Um, and I'm not burnt out by the clones at all, but I was just kind of surprised that they actually did another one. But it being a Walgreens exclusive, like, come on. We have to stop making troopers and troop builders Walgreens exclusive, especially when you can't Agreed. pre-order them. The yeah. last one is just now starting to come out, and it's still pretty hard to find. Um, so, Yeah, they really should make troopers like this fan channel. So, Because yeah. like, I know with like Dorkside Toys, they had... You could buy the Phase One Clone Trooper by a ca- like a case of them, and like same yeah. with the Stormtroopers, like they sold them by the case, uh, just a whole case full of them. They like people will buy those if they made Troopers where you could just buy as many as you want, as opposed to trying to hunt them down at a store that may or may not get any. Like it's really, really frustrating 
to have it a Walgreens mm-hmm. exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. Victoria, what do you think of the uh, this reveal here? I like clones. Um, you know, I'll certainly take it. Uh, I don't think it was a very exciting clone necessarily. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I know the color is kind of unique for this one, but, um, you know, I, I, I tend to gravitate more towards, you know, the ones that we saw in Revenge of the Sith. Um, Same. You know, 501st, the, the mm-hmm. Shock Troopers, the 327th, you know, all those guys. Um, that's one we still need. We still need the 327th. That'd be... Mm-hmm. That, I think that'd be the coolest one for them to do. But um, yeah, no, this is cool. It's from Clone Wars. There were so many designs in Clone Wars, and I kind of mm-hmm. even forgot this one existed. <laughs> so I was like, well, oh, it's, wait, it's a season from? seven. Yeah, it's only in season seven. So, uh, and it's kind of blink and you miss it. But one yeah. of the things I noticed was he has, he has the stripe, even though he's Clone he, Wars. Yeah, but and it's an orange Does stripe, he? right? It's not even the black stripe. Yeah. Does he? Weird. Did I miss this? I'm zooming yeah, in. Yeah, he's got a stripe. Oh, he's got a maroon stripe. Look yeah. Here. Look at that. That looks yeah. awesome. Yeah. This the the new the stripe on the new mold makes such a big difference. And I'm looking at it like just like right now. That's insane. How could so I, another how could I miss this first? Another issue people are back and forth about is originally Hasbro created the 187th and colored them purple when they were just yep. Make, making up stuff basically uh and then lucasfilm was like now nah, the 187th is maroon because it kind of matches uh commander pond's colors or well, it does match his colors they're, they're an homage to mm-hmm. mace windu's first clone commander who died um so that maroon color is the canon color but i've seen a lot of people including yak face posting about how they're upset that it's not purple like they originally were. And I kind of get that, but at the same time, if you're going to go, said, yeah, if, if Lucasfilm says something, it's canon and that's what it yeah. should be. That's, that's just how I view it. I don't know. Yep. And I think a lot of people, and I made a post about this. I think a lot of people have the purple ingrained in their head because mm-hmm. what it was it like, it was really recent. I don't know if it was like a, like a month ago or whatever, but, or sooner than that, maybe, but Lego did the mm-hmm. Lego set and they're purple. Yep. For some reason, I guess for, you know, who knows why, but that's, they revealed that so recently. I feel like that's just so ingrained in people's head now, I guess. So they think Hasbro got it wrong, but really Lego got it wrong. So Well, Lego got it wrong because Hasbro originally just made it up. Yeah, <laughs> like they yeah. just, yeah. Um. So, but I, I really like it. You know, the, mm-hmm. the, the true tell is going to be, because we still haven't had a mainline just like blank phase two clone because it's the only one we have is from the true. four pack yeah. the trooper that tr- amazon right trooper four pack. although i'm pretty sure you can get some off aliexpress i'm just saying yes yeah you could for like 13.99 <laughs> and then like yeah. the, oh so. i didn't even tell you the price of this figure yeah this was a in. four dollar figure and shipping was six so it cost me ten dollars to get this, I, I totally wow. neglected to say I'm, that. Yeah, is it just AliExpress.com? Or I'll what? send you the link. I'll send you the link. Okay. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, do I'll that. send you the link. Um, yeah. But yeah, if they so they still need to do a blank Phase Two clone, but mm-hmm. if that blank Phase Two clone is like a, a difficult exclusive, I think people are going to be really mad because that's the one you army build. Like these color ones, you yeah. usually get like one of two of mm-hmm. maybe to flank like your. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want two Jedi. of these to, to flank Mace Windu. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. But the blank ones are the ones that people are really gonna want ten of and you know, twelve yep. of, and yep. so that's or the one they need to mainline. So, I agree. Well, time will tell. I, time will tell. Yeah, I've gone very overboard with some of these, like the the Ahsoka's, you know, three thirty six or whatever. How many is. do you like, have? I, How many do you have? I think I have ten. Five oh first. I think I have uh, six. Oh, a lot of our so listeners right now are sitting there like, well, no wonder I can't find any. You know what? Know. No wonder they all sold out. Well, you know, all from online. All from online. Yeah. <laughs> that, and that's yeah, that's another thing. I saw I saw someone on Facebook complain that someone had like four or five Mando, the 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 Mandalorian trooper that just came out. Uh and it's clear that they bought them online because he showed he it was like a picture of them in the box. Like mm-hmm. in a sh- in a shipping box, and I'm like, dude, you can't really be mad at somebody for ordering a bunch of the same figure online. 
uh, like they're troop builders. Like I know it yeah. sucks if you don't have one. You see someone have like five, but it yeah. is what it is. You, you, you really can't like, be mad about that. Yeah, I feel like it's dumb to get mad at anybody for anything that they buy online, even if it is a hard exclusive. Yeah, like that's their money. Un- yeah. Unless they're buying it strictly to resell to it resell for it. profit. Yes. But if they're buying it to have 10, 100, 1,000, yeah. I don't care what the number. That's their money. Hasbro didn't put a limit on it or Walmart, whoever didn't put a limit. They were able to buy 1,000 just like you're able to buy one, you know, whatever. You know, I don't know. I don't know if anybody has 1,000 yeah. Black Series clones. I'm sure there's but, someone. Um, I'm sure. I've seen like like 50 and 100, but like, you know, that's their money. They You had the chance to buy them, buy them too, you know. Um so yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's about all the clone. The clone. Anybody got any last thoughts on that trooper? I just hope it's easy to find. I'm hoping Papa Gord. I know you're listening, Papa Gord. Nigel, yeah, the, come in for me, <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> we got those Canadian hookups because Canada <laughs> seems to get these way before U- U.S. and they're usually from GameStop, which is from in yeah. Canada anyway. Uh, so hopefully, crossing my fingers that this one will be uh, easy for us to get, just not from. Yeah, Walgreens. So who, yeah, who these knows? are these are tough. These yeah. these Walgreens clones. Like, do I, you have I, the do you have the current Walgreens clone yet? No, I don't. Um, yeah. And Walgreens is a hard one because you know mm-hmm. I feel like every time I walk in there, I'm being eyed. Like you uh-huh. know, especially if you go in, and you come out without anything. They're like, "What is she I, doing?" I yep. feel um, the same way. I feel mm-hmm. like for Walgreens, <laughs> yep. Walgreens is one of those places where you're only going to Walgreens if you specifically need something quick yes. and you don't want to go into like a big giant Walmart for or Target. <laughs> yep. So like I walk into Walgreens for the second day in a row or something, you know, like and then they're like or like the second week in a row after restock day or whatever and they're like, This dude's being a little shady. What's he doing? I'm right? still so self conscious walking out of there. <laughs> yeah. I never feel bad walking into a Target and walking out with nothing. Like that happens oh, all no. the time. Yeah. yeah. But like a small store like Walgreens, where there's only like two yep. or three people working, you yeah. definitely start looking suspicious if they see you do that a lot. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I just uh <laughs> I just barely is. found the uh the lieutenant and I had to get that one in Texas and Oh man. You know, like I, I was never able to find it here and you know, just in March you know, I was over there and I found, found it a lot. I, I got a tip actually from a com- from a, the owner of Quinn comics. Uh, uh, he said, um, yeah, this one Walgreens, you know, you go over there, they got plenty, they got plenty. They've nice. had plenty. I'm like, really? I can't find it anywhere. So, uh, yeah, sure enough. I go and they have like eight of them. So I guess a tip from our pals over at out of the basement, Justin and Nate, uh, shout they out. found they, yeah, shout out. They found them by, cause pop finder works for it. But, but the UPC is good is the same it's for just like all straight black series. It's the yeah. same for all black series. But they say if you look it up and they have more than one or two, it's likely uh, something recent. It's likely stuff, it's yeah. likely something recent, and it's probably the clone trooper. So yeah. if you put that into or the new wave, yeah, or the new wave, yeah, the new, yeah. The new wave. Yeah. that's you, yeah. So it's a win win, really. It, it, oh, if you're looking for it, but if yeah. yeah. So that that's just a tip for those of you out there listening. If you if you still want that that new clone trooper from Walgreens and you're you're hunting every day. Check Pop Finder. That might be your saving grace. Yep. That's um, a good tip. So, I'll take four of them. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Just uh, the moving, tip, though. Moving on. Oh, my gosh, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> If you um, meant anything weird by that, that's on you. I mean, I just said words. Those are meaningless. Okay, all right, all right. Um. Anyways, so uh, at the end of the stream, we got yep. some more pipeline reveals, uh, which everybody knows I'm sort of against because it you ruins are. You these hate- streams. It just you know what? Just, Not for it, everyone though. I'm I'm surprised at how many people were like, "Oh, why are they doing Leia?" I'm like, "Where was your complaining um or two months ago when they announced this in the pipeline? Like this wasn't a surprise." But there's people out there they're acting like you know everything yeah. they showed off was a, was a surprise to them. The only thing that was really a surprise was the clone trooper. But mm-hmm. you know, it's it's just kind of weird how how little some people that are part of this hobby pay attention to the hobby. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I think Pipeline is fine whenever they do figures like, for example, HK87 or Figurin Dan or like Princess Leia. But for the Luke Skywalker Mandalorian season two, I feel like that's something we need in a live stream, like revealed, yeah. surprise, like shock, 
value, like random, like for, from for Lom to Zuckus article, you know, something like that, something a little more, something with some, some pizzazz, you know, I don't know what to say, but then, but I mean, this is cool too. So we know we're getting it. I would honestly rather have a book of Boba Fett version, but I'm assuming this is just going to be like that body mold from the, here we go again, the Rancor you know tear and then you brought it up you brought it up again so do you think they're gonna go for the exact like face sculpt from mandalorian or think they're just gonna do the one from that rancor mold that they showed us what do you think i kind of hope it's basically the same as the rancor one just with the belt and the stuff you know that the season two mando should have as long Mm. as he comes with a stupid cape or the cloak whatever the robe like (laughs) He's got to come with that. If he doesn't, yeah. they have seriously messed up somewhere. That's that's yeah. really all I'm saying. Yeah, the, if they did a book of Boba Fett version, that one yeah. wouldn't have to. But he wouldn't have this to. One, no, he literally yeah. like like ninety percent like, of the episode that he's in, he's wearing it. Yeah, for like ninety yeah. percent of his screen time, he yes. is literally wearing the cloak because of the yes. technology when he's fighting and all that. So, um, Victoria, what did you think of the uh, these pipeline reveals? Yeah, they're exciting. It's just, uh, you know, some of these are so far away that it's like, mm-hmm. cool. You know, I mean, I yeah. kind of figured they'd be doing these like we figured they'd be doing Luke, right? Yep. Um, and uh, but then, you know, I started thinking like what you guys are saying, like if Luke was Book of Boba Fett, where he looks a little bit better, hopefully they can skew it a little bit towards mm-hmm. that because they're probably not going to do two Lukes. I mean, they might, but um yeah, either way, uh, it'll well, be an exciting release. And you bring up a point. good point. Does that mean that we're not going to get a Return of the Jedi version of this? They're going to make it a Mandalorian version of this? Because when they showed off that figure, originally it was going to be a Return of the Jedi mm-hmm. version to yeah. go with the Rancor. So, right. I mean, granted, we already have that, but that that figure sucks. Like, it just <laughs> it just does. It, it wasn't good when it came out in 2014. <laughs> In phase two, no. and it, it wasn't good when they kept re-releasing it over and over and over again. Uh, I really want a new Return of the Jedi Luke. I just I yeah, know. same. I completely yeah. agree. Um, and I know, like, uh, I don't know how to say this really. But like, I liked just the and Victoria already kind of touched on it. The the technology in the face was so much mm-hmm. better in the Book of Boba Fett. And I know Hasbro Agreed. was doing this because, of course, yep. Lucasfilm was not telling anybody that no. they were putting him in Book of Boba Fett. So they weren't going to wait and they were going to have better like face technology. But mm-hmm. um, I just hope that this doesn't look too not like Luke because I feel like we already have a couple of Lukes that look like completely different people, you know, in the <laughs> line. So like to throw True. another one in there. So hopefully they do a good job we'll see i'm inter- i'm really interested to see how this looks um, i think hasbro's greatest enemy is luke skywalker's likeness mark <laughs> yes, they cannot yes. i think the only one i've seen that gets it pretty good is the dagobah one uh anything yeah, outside the, the of that Yoda yeah pack. Mm-hmm. or just the i guess the heir of the empire one like it's the same figure like that's a the, good uh, likeness of mark hamill I think the snow speeder one looks pretty yeah, good. Yeah, but you only see his but, face. I mean, like, you that's know, what I'm saying. It's because yeah, it's only yeah. like this, yeah. you know, the, the, like this much of it. Someone asked me why I didn't put that in my top ten. I'm like, you like it's it's a Luke Skywalker, but he's wearing that for like mm-hmm. ten seconds in the movie. Like why yeah. why would you make why would you make that a definitive version to have in your collection? Yeah. Um so I think we're ready to move on to the last one, personally. Which we but, kind of talked about. We didn't really, though, because this one right. actually comes with a robe. Yes, it does. And a ton of accessories for a standard release. Well, a mystery awesome. accessory. And a mystery accessory. I was going to ask you yeah. what you think. I, it's probably binoculars. and then it's, I think it's binoculars. Yeah. Um, but we are talking about the Obi-Wan Kenobi. It was originally revealed on Jimmy mm-hmm. Kimmel Live. Um, I stayed up late wanting to screen record on my phone so I can post it to TikTok, but of course a Spectrum app on my phone wouldn't let me screen record, so I kind of wasted my time. So I was like, screw it, I'll just go to bed and then I'll post it in the morning. And then wake up in the morning and we get all the official pictures, so that was awesome. Uh, Victoria, what do you think of the Obi-Wan Kenobi reveal figure? It looks good. Um, It it looks in line with anything else they're doing in black series these days. So likeness is great. Um, articulation, you know, pinless joints, um, some soft mm-hmm. goods. Um, mm-hmm. I'm very pleased with it. Um, I, 
I wish we were getting it now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, but whatever, I'll wait the seven, eight months, however long it is, I guess. Um, but, um, no, it looks good. I don't have any complaints. Um, it's, it's what I would expect. So they did, did a good job. I think that's a good way to put it. Pleased would be my word. I do have one complaint mm-hmm. though. And I don't, you know, I hate when people like we get a figure and I can already see Mike's face, you know, he's going to shame me for this. See? It's just, it's just like, we get a great figure and I don't want to complain too much. I'm not going to complain that much. I really am excited and it looks great, but come on. Can we put a little bit of gray hair on the beard and the hair make him look a little older? It almost looks like he's younger than the Attack of the Clones version we had. Um, <laughs> so you can just put a robe on this one and call it Jedi, Wondering Jedi. <laughs> um, you know, like he needs to look a little older, but maybe they'll do a running change. How they were planning on doing? They did the that Han with Han Solo. Solo. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Force yeah. Awakens went too. We'll yeah. see. Hopefully, there's enough time to put some gray in the beard. Maybe you can do a custom or something. But um, yeah. So Mike, uh, handing the baton to you. Sure. Uh, <laughs> I guess first of all, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say I was wrong, because when we we st- first talked about figures we'd like to see from Kenobi after that first trailer, I said. The figure I want the least from it is Obi Wan Kenobi himself. <laughs> Just because I, I thought everything else was so interesting, you know, like you have all these cool people. It's a new era, well, not a new era, but like, <laughs> it's an era we haven't explored a lot. Like I want to, I want to see what else they can bring us. Uh, but after seeing it, I'm like, okay, yeah, I definitely want that Kenobi. <laughs> so I was wrong, and I'm gonna admit that I want the Kenobi. Um, I also I want the four L O M, the four Lom. That's in the trailer for a half second with two guns. With two guns, and like you can actually see the green in his eye. Like, yeah, glowing. and he's got like, holsters and stuff. Like, I don't know. Like, I I want that, but like the Kenobi looks good. I don't know what the accessory is. It's weird that you and it's like it's like you and played with it and he put it back in, but he lost the accessory. Or Hasbro was like, no, we can't put that in there. I think we have so. to take it out. Because uh, in the interview, he said they handed me this an hour ago or, or something. Oh, like that, so it's not know? that. Yeah, it definitely isn't that. Yeah. <laughs> he definitely did not and play he with roasted I don't know him. Why he I was like, yeah, they he did, did all these scans yeah. on my face and it doesn't even look like me. <laughs> it's like, I think you're not supposed to say that. They're, I think they're promoting this thing. And he called it a doll. You know? Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, he definitely doesn't collect Star Wars, so it's it's cool. He is Star Wars, so you really can't fault him for that. Yeah. I mean, he literally did say that he hadn't seen any of the original three movies since like the premiere days they came out. So I Not get like, that when you're when like you're in something, yeah. And, yeah. When you're in something and you spend so much time making it, like I I get not watching it because it's it's different when you're making it because mm-hmm. it, it, it like consumes your life for so long and then especially with the mixed reaction it originally got, like I I honestly can't blame him yeah. for not having watched it after that. Yeah. Um, but I also want to uh, note that. Uh, uh, the the lightsaber looks really vibrant blue, kind of mm-hmm. like the Sergeant Cardio. So I really like this new direction their Hasbro's going or whatever yes. they found with these lightsaber colors because it confirms it. Because Lance Peter Luke also got the Sergeant Creel mm-hmm. in hand and the lightsaber. The it looks really awesome in hand yep. in his you know picture. So the really vibrant green and this yep. Kenobi is really vibrant blue. It's also so. like Ahsoka's lightsabers, which are like that really yep. vibrant, like white. Yep. Like I was, because yep. the original Ahsoka lightsabers from the Rebels one, they were, there's kind of a clear translucent, yeah. Yeah. you know, like they're there, but they're, there's nothing special about them. Whereas yeah. these are like, oof, that they're is solid. White. Yeah, yeah, yeah solid. it's solid. Yeah. 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 So um, are you you're really excited the, uh, about this new direction they're going with the, the blades. Yeah. Also the vintage color um, Obi-Wan from Amazon last year, that one had a v- really vibrant blade. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, definitely is a it's a good direction Hasbro's going with the lightsabers. I just yeah. wish I kind of wish they wouldn't do the removable blades. And I've been thinking about this a lot. It's it's a it's cool in theory to have just one blade and one hilt and you can plug it in or pull it off, but I've lost so many lightsabers because of that little connection point that goes inside, they fall, they land on it, it breaks because that's the weak <laughs> yeah. spot. I've lost so many lightsabers for th- for that specific reason, mm-hmm. or they're just really hard to get in and out. Where I just I kind of mm-hmm. wish they would have one whole molded lightsaber and then one just hilt. The hilt, like yeah, with a hook or uh, something. Like it's not that much extra plastic. I just like yeah. it's just 
I feel like they, they wouldn't be as fragile if they did that. Um, I, and it would, I, I just, I, I think that's a better yeah. direction. Just like removable helmets, swappable heads. Like, yeah, I, I just feel like there's different ways they could do it to give us a better experience. I get why they do it, but right. there's downsides and I don't like those downsides. Yeah. It would be, that would be ideal if, we, if they could yeah. do that. Um, yeah. I'd, I'd pay 50 cents more if they did Easily. give me a little hilts. But, Easily. Uh, yeah. Um, I'd pay a dollar more just for that, honestly. A dollar, oh, yeah. sure. Why not? Yeah. 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 Um, and I, I do want to give a shout out to Hasbro because I know everybody, like, for the longest time, we were like, I'm tired of getting Jedi with, you know, no robe and then just a mm-hmm. lightsaber. But lately, if you look at mainline figures lately, talk about packing accessories. And I know that we've yeah. had the price increase, but since they did the price increase, like, we're actually starting to get a lot more in the mainline package. So you look at the new Obi Wan. Pretty good amount of accessories, plus the robe. Echo, Omega, Yeah. even though she's the character smaller, but the Echo has a ton. Um, I just feel like mainline, we're getting, they're, they're starting to step up with accessories. So shout out to Hasbro. Heck, they, and, I mean, they gave Leia a spear. They didn't have to do that. Yeah. Like she didn't, yeah. she never held a spear, but now we have an extra Ewok spear and that's just kind of neat. I don't know. Yep. She didn't, they didn't have to give her a gun because she never used a gun either. Like she literally had nothing. <laughs> She did mm-hmm. nothing in that dress that required any any accessories. Uh, the only accessory they could have given us if they just double packed her with an Ewok, like Wicket, which mm-hmm. in hindsight, Hasbro, why didn't you do that? <laughs> <laughs> give us give us a fifty dollar deluxe with Leia and an Ewok, and I don't, I don't I'd pay fifty bucks just to get a Wicket. Yeah, get honestly. Paplu back. Yeah, in or, or from Paplu. the deluxe. Well, Wicket would make more sense. Yeah, but Paplu, yeah, yeah. Any Ewok basically could yeah. be an accessory for that Leia, <laughs> and I would pay more. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. Um, well, yeah. So that's all the reveals. Hope everybody had a good time listening to that. So, um, do you want to jump into some of these questions I got for for Victoria? Shoot. All right, Victoria. So I think we're gonna start putting our guests through. I don't know what we're going to call it. Maybe like the Black Series questionnaire. That sounds a little... That's that's a terrible name. We'll, we'll, that sounds we'll official. Think of, we'll think of something better. <laughs> All right. All right, let's do it. What is your favorite Black Series figure? Hold on. Black Series grilling. That's it. Black Series grilling? <laughs> yeah. All right, that'll work. Let me look over at the shelf if I get to sheet while I do this. Um, gosh, that this is, is always not tough. an easy, nope. yeah, I mean, there's, there's, I feel like every time somebody asks me this, I give a different answer. Five, uh, four, no, I'm just joking. You don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, and it does change based on your mood. Like, yeah, I have like three or four favorites that I just kind of toss out there just, just cause I know I do like them, but if you press me for it, it's really tough. It's really hard to say just one. For now, I'm going to go with the latest, um, the Mandalorian Ahsoka for now, um, because it's, it's recent, it's fresh in my head and it's, it uses the latest black series designing. Mm -hmm. Um, so Mm -hmm. I'm very, yeah, I would go with that right now in this moment. I really like how they did her legs. I think that is really Mm -hmm. cool. I just wish that she had come with the soft goods cape. Yeah, luckily I bought like three or four of the Island Journey Rays. Ah, that's smart. Just... That's smart. <laughs> so I'll just nice. give her one. Yeah, that's smart. Um, all right, so the opposite of that question, what is your least favorite Black Series figure? IG-88. Easily! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had to good. think about that one. <laughs> no, that's such a good answer. Oh. That is a good one, yep. And there are people out there, there are people out there that are like, oh, Constable Zuvio. No, he's actually a really good figure. He's actually, yeah, he is. He's actually a really good figure. IG-88 is a terrible figure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, All right. What is the top figure or what is the top character that you want Hasbro to put in the Black Series that has not been in the Black Series as of yet? The Tonica sisters. That was an easy answer. I knew that one for her. Oh, you did? Okay. Oh, yeah, she's big know, on Tonica sisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time for Tonica. Yeah. I like, oh, Hasbro's just doing more more repacks and reuse. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Um, I only had three written down, so Mike, if you can think of one, I'll, a couple off the top of your head. What is your favorite? In it? Oh, because you've been collecting Black Series as long as I have, since the line came out. What's your favorite innovation in the line? Photo reel. Photo reel? I think that's a good that's one. That's going to be a popular I one. I think that really was the biggest game changer there. Although, uh, the newer the newer elbows and yeah. knees they've been doing have it's been so real good. good, real good too. But I think photo reel really did elevate it. Because before, people would compare it to like SH Figure Arts, and there was a drastic difference. Uh, yes. That photo reel just edged it way up. So It did. Agreed. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it went to them to a whole other level and yep yeah it's it, it makes it it really lessens that gap between you know mm-hmm. that and like figure arts or, or black mm-hmm. series and mayfax yeah. like it's it's yeah it's it's and some are better now i think mm-hmm. than oh those, easily those yep. figures. yeah they are i think sure. that i think the mace windu looks way better than the figure arts version mm-hmm. it uh, does so for sure yep. yeah All right, I got hey i was it's it's sad going sorry it's sad going Very back good. and looking at some of the older figures like when I was comparing them, the like some of them look like KOs. Well, I guess this KO is pretty good, so I can't say that anymore. <laughs> but like the base Malbus kind of looks like a like a racist caricature of an Asian person almost with the paint on that on that sculpt. Whereas the new face printed one, I'm like, oh dang, like that's just that's a person. Like that's what a person looks <laughs> yeah. like. It's so yeah. weird how much of a difference it makes to making it look like an actual person. Hmm. Um. What is your favorite era to collect? Mm. Favorite era? Um, you know, traditionally, I would say the original trilogy. Um, mm-hmm. That's kind of always been. But I feel like they've really mined that well pretty pretty good at this point. Um, lately, it's for me, it's been, it doesn't matter what the scale is. It's, it's been Clone Wars era lately. Mm-hmm. Specifically, Clone Wars. Clone Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Here's the big one. Here's the big one. TBS or TVC? Uh, on the spot. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, hey, hey, on I want spot. you, I want you to think very carefully because the way, the however you answer this question determines if you're ever going to come back on the show ever. Oh, she's not, not going to want to come I, back on anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, in terms of what exactly? <laughs> just, just if you had to choose, someone if was like, to choose Victoria, one. you can only have six inch scale or 3.75 inch scale figures. What do you choose? All right, I'm sorry to do this to you guys. That's fine. But, I, but check it out. Um, what I love about the Black Series is that you have these decently sized, you know, meaning six inch Six inch figures. Left. <laughs> he left. He left the chat. Um, <laughs> these six I'll inch say, figures. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> you know, at 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 this point in my life, like three three quarter inch are on. Like to be honest, they're a little bit harder to mm-hmm. to look at. Like I don't. My eyes aren't what they used to be. You know, ten years ago, twenty years ago. Mm-hmm. Um. So like the the smaller figures, they are harder for me to see now. Um, and I mean, I can still see them. I know that makes me sound like, I don't know, ancient or something, You're but, old. Yeah. <laughs> um, the bigger figures are a really nice canvas. I think you can do more with them in terms of them just being like character representations of those mm-hmm. great characters. <laughs> He's mad. <laughs> Zach's mad. He's you got you sent him to the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think just based solely on characters, the black series is, is probably going to be overall better if that's if that's more your interest um however for me i've always been about the world building aspect of toys yeah. and you know with tvc obviously you have the vehicles you have the play sets you have the creatures you have the beasts and you know there's a little bit of that in the black series uh, but not quite to the same extent like i have sure. a millennium falcon from uh, tvc that's amazing i have mm-hmm. the ad at walker which is amazing i have um, play sets of like Jabba's Palace, um, the Razor Crest, the Sail Barge, mm-hmm. all these things that really are centerpieces for the collection and just being able to manipulate all your figures in there. Like that would never work in, in a bigger scale. So um, as, as much as I do, you know, love and support both scales and want to see both scales continue to exist and to do well and 
for people to love them and to buy them and, and get to enjoy, you know, whatever they prefer. Um, if I had to just pick one, I, I would have to go with TVC solely for the world building purposes. I get it. Absolutely. Uh, and I think I, I kind of agree with your reasoning. I don't choose your reasoning because I don't care about world building. I care about just having cool Be individual careful, Mike. characters. You're walking down a slippery slope. <laughs> I'm not. I'm firmly planted in the Black Series. I'm never going to go back to three and three quarter inch figures. I, I'm just saying as I understand. And I think there's there's there is room for both. And thankfully, that's not a choice anyone is really forced to make. Like you can collect both right. if you want. You can collect just one of them if you want. You know, I think it's yeah, cool totally. you collect both. Yeah, for sure. And you know, there is a lot of tribalism within both mm-hmm. communities, and you know, it's really unfortunate, honestly, because like you're saying, um, I, I think you know what some people do get upset about, and reasonably so, is you know there is a lot of. You know, the budgeting is so complex and we don't even have the full details, but what little we know Uh seems to indicate that, you know, they do share, you know, a high level of budgeting. Um, So I I do, from that perspective, I can understand, you know, the, if you prefer one over the other, but it it does online get very, it can get very um, kind of ugly sometimes. And that's what I don't like to see. That's what I don't. Six inch figures. Yeah, that's what I don't like to see, um, you know, that people should, you know, you can buy both, you can buy one or the mm-hmm. other, just en- enjoy toys, they're toys. Uh, yeah. It doesn't need to be, you know, us versus them, you know, it's all Star Wars, it's all fun. And um, if you don't like something, don't buy it. If you like something, buy it and don't, it doesn't matter what other people say about your collecting choices. That's it. I agree. Preach. Zach, come on. What do you mean? Come don't, on! Don't don't be like that. <laughs> you're you're over there sulking like Anakin in the. You're I pulling hate an Anakin right now. <laughs> so do I turn on? Okay, I guess I can stop being evil. No, and you're turn good. on my regular yeah, lights. Now. All right. No, I I agree, and it's it's that tribalism that's it's it's frustrating to be a collector online. Uh, Cause I just, I want to just, I want to focus on being that positive person. Like if there's things you like, cool. Talk about what you like. If there's things you don't like, how can you turn it into something that you do like? So for instance, there are a lot of prequels people that are, were upset on the fourth that Hasbro didn't announce anything really other than that one clone. They didn't announce anything like 20th anniversary uh, of, yeah. of Attack of the Clones or anything like that. And they were like, oh, this is awful. I don't like this. Like, you know what? Like, I get being disappointed for that. But like, why can't you just be happy that you don't have to spend money? Like, that's that's stuff that you don't have to spend money on. Like, why can't you be happy for the people that that did want that? You know, like yep. you have to make it like this. This like, oh, I didn't get anything. So everything sucks. Like kind of child mentality of being at a birthday party and seeing the the birthday person get all the presents while you're not getting any <laughs> presents, you know? So then your mom has to give you presents so you don't feel bad that other people are getting presents and you're not kind of, kind of thing. Like just be happy for people that are getting something and know that at some point you're going to get something that you like. Cause it's not like Hasbro is never going to make that stuff. It's, Hasbro is not deaf. They're never going to be like, sorry, yeah. we're never going to make a B2 battle droid, super battle droid for the black series. It's just not in the cards. Like that's, that's right. not a thing, you know, it's, it's going to happen at some point. It's not happening oh, yeah. now, but it's going to happen. Yeah. Like, you know, so just, I just, I feel like, and then the, the whole 3.75 versus six inch, I have no problem with people that prefer, that over six inch it's the people that create this like oh i can't believe black series this and black series that like you don't have to make it like that just be the like i true wish scale y- yeah there's no such thing as a one true scale you know, there's two different scales they have their pros and minuses both of them and people collect what they like you just focus on yours if that's what you like and be like i wish our scale had this i wish like i say this all the time i wish the six inch scale had an IG eighty eight slash IG eleven that didn't suck because the the three point seven five inch scale has one. Yep. That that new IG eleven looks good, like it almost made me buy it because I like that character so much. I wanted a good representation of it, but I don't collect that scale. Uh, you know, just little things like that. Like, and it's being, like guess, they get soft goods more than we do. Anyway, they so. absolutely do yep. get soft goods more than we do. That Bib Fortuna with the soft goods on it. Get out of town. Yeah, no, it's, it's great. Not a, 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 what do you call it? A traffic cone? Traffic cone. Right? Well, yep. you know what the sad part is? is the six-inch one isn't even really a traffic cone because 
like the the rubber isn't strong enough to support him yeah, without yeah, his feet. Yeah, it's not long enough to hold, yeah. Yeah, like the like the ray, the the dark side ray, if she didn't have any legs, yeah. she would still stand because of of her rubber skirt thing. But the Bib Fortuna is going to fall over cuz it's there's nothing on the front. He just kind of yeah. he just kind of falls forward. Yeah. So I I don't know, like people are people are making this weird us versus them mentality and it drives me insane. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I like to kid around, you know, about that. But um, yeah. like, it is it's one big collecting community. And if you like, mm-hmm. you know, three point seven five inch figures, and if you're mad that in 2013 the bigger brother finally got stepped at the table, like I get it, I get it, you know. But um, but yeah, in all seriousness, it's like a little it big is, brother because because it's it's newer, it's younger, but it's bi- it's bigger. Yeah, you know. Um, but in all seriousness, it is one big collecting community, and everybody's gonna collect how they collect. Yeah. Um, like the whole us versus them thing, like people 3.7 time trains cheering for the Rancor to fail just so they don't make more six inch. Like they're going to make 3.75 inch has labs regardless whether this fails or not. So, yeah, you know, it was just kind of confusing to me, but it's not confusing. It it's it frustrating. It's infuriating. Yeah. 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 Like, why would you ever vote? Fo- why would you ever, why would you ever want something to fail? Like that, yeah. that's weird to me. No, I, I want Hasbro to be poorly. I want it to hurt the Star Wars brand. I love Star Wars so much. I want, I want it to suffer. I want it to fail. That's how much I love yeah. Star Wars. You know? Yeah. It's so weird. Yeah. All yep. right. Um, well, I think that's going to do it. Uh, you all got any last like overarching thoughts about the whole May the 4th reveals and anything like that from recent news? No, uh, you know, there's some really cool stuff. Um, you know, I, I I'm looking forward to cele- to a celebration because I think they're gonna yep. they were holding some stuff back. And, I agree. Um, you know, if mm-hmm. if some people were angered that there wasn't anything for Attack of the Clones, you know, that's around the corner. So maybe we'll see something cool there. Um, but yeah, no, I think it was good stuff overall, and I think um, mm-hmm. you know the what they revealed the the modal nodes the clone like all, all that stuff you know enables multiple purchases so you know yep. the more people that are buying stuff if it's the same person buying stuff multiple times over you know yep. that just makes things better for the line you know increases mm-hmm. its budget you know and so on and so forth so um good stuff yep great stuff great points thanks for being on victoria yes thanks for being on um can you tell thanks. the listeners where to, where to find you? Yes. Yes. No, thank, thanks to both of you for having me on. I'm sorry about the whole TVC thing. but uh, <laughs> No, you're yeah, it's, fine. You're, it's, it's totally good. fine. It's totally You're good. Vintage Zach's just a big, definitely Zach's a just a big baby. You're a big baby. <laughs> yeah, Black, you made a good point. Black Series is a character-focused line, and mm-hmm. but 3.75-inch figures were made back in the day, so you can put them in you know all these various vehicles. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hundreds of really them. Great. Yeah, yeah. Um, for sure. But no, thank you guys. It's been fun. Uh, you know, I would love to come back again sometime if you'll have me. And, um, you know, I'd love to get both of you on the social hours. Yeah, so, uh, Victoria's Cantina is the YouTube channel. Um, and we have a Cantina social hour Fridays, uh, different guests every Friday. Sometimes it's multiple guests, sometimes it's uh, recurring guests. So it's, it's always mm-hmm. a fun time. Uh, that's your channel Fridays. is how I how I met Tom. I love Tom. Tom's great. <laughs> yeah, he's he's quite a personality. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, yeah, so Twitter at Vix Cantina, Instagram, Victoria's Cantina, uh, Facebook, Victoria's Cantina. Um, and yeah, Cantina Shatter podcast, Vintage Collection podcast. And uh, hit me up. I'm happy to talk Star Wars and toys with anybody. And uh, happy to answer questions. And yeah, I love toys. So, you know, if you love toys too, I think there's a good chance that we will get along. There you go. Mike, where can the listeners find you if this is their first time listening? Yeah. I mean, I have a YouTube channel. It's Mike Case. Uh, I just put out in the last couple days two videos my Rogue One overview, uh, comparing the old and new figures, and then my top 10 must have Black Series figures from the original trilogy. Uh, and I'm going to make that a series where I'm going to do prequel trilogy, sequel trilogy, and then also like everything else. Because <laughs> there's nice. more than that out TV, there. TV, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 all that stuff. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to. I'm going to milk that for everything I can. Oh, for sure. 
Uh, Maybe you can split it up between like live action slash probably because you know uh, I mean? it's really TV. hard. It, I originally was just going to do my top ten must have black series figures. Period, but I just realized how just impossible that is with so many good figures. How do you choose just ten? Uh, yep, and the answer exactly. is you break it up into smaller chunks. <laughs> That's how you choose. Even yep. in OT, though, it was really hard to choose just 10. So, I mean, there's so many. You there's, know, they release, yeah. They release so many. So Absolutely. So uh, I've got that on my YouTube channel, my case. I'm also on Instagram at Trusty Sidekick. And I'm on the Twitter at Mike Case. And I'm on the TikTok at Mike Case 82. So... There's awesome, that. awesome. Uh, before I, just real quick, I wanted to mention, because I think we forgot to say, but uh, for the people who don't know, starting Wednesday, May 25th, which is oh, yeah. the, the true Star Wars Day, and that's two days before the Kenobi premiere. Yep. That's every Orthodox Wednesday, Star Wars Day. Yeah. Yep. Every Wednesday until, I think until Kenobi ends, they're going to, it's kind of like the, what do they call it? The bounty. The, yeah, bring home you know, the bounty. The bring home yeah. the bounty. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's or Mando every, Mondays back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Every Wednesday, yeah. they're going to reveal not the Black Series specifically, but I'm sure there will be some Black Series reveals. There usually is. Yeah. Uh, every Wednesday, they're going to have Kenobi reveals um, for different merchandise. So look, uh, keep an eye out on like my page and like various like Yak Face and all that. Um, for hopefully we get some Black Series announcements, and you know at least one or two. But you can follow me at the Star Wars Black Series on TikTok and Instagram. You can follow our Twitter. Which we mm -hmm. also, we reveal, like, we have a new, like, Twitter logo and Twitter yeah. cover photo, which looks really Thanks awesome. Thanks to Sean. Yep. We're also Big working on t-shirts, so. Yes. That's a thing, maybe. Who knows? Yep. Um, so follow us there at TBS Cantina. We are working on a new, like, official logo for the podcast, and I think... I think we kind of decided one right before we went live or started mm -hmm. recording today. So, and I'm really stoked for it. So, be on the lookout for that. Email us blackseriescantina at gmail dot com. Don't forget about our Patreon page. We are going to be doing a giveaway. We've got yes. my five hundred first. I know Patreons are, are the only ones watching, but we got the five hundred first clone trooper and we're going to be giving both of these in the same or two separate would we i think two separate let's let's split it up two winners let's make two, we'll winners. two winners two winners yeah so if you're interested in the 501st clone trooper or the uh, walmart exclusive jindy tartakovsky style um fordo slash regular clone trooper arc trooper i should say arc trooper we're going to be giving those away. I think we're going to announce the winners on our recording episode June So not 2nd. not the next episode, but the episode after yeah. that. And you'll have yeah. basically a whole month, almost a whole month, yes. to join our Patreon. And the only entry level is joining our Patreon at any level. I'm just going to say you know, that. Maybe, I, I think, what do you think about doing it, like the drawing live on like me and you can do like Instagram live yeah. on my account. Like we sure. can, I can, we can both do it and then yeah. we can, we can pull well, the winners there. We'll maybe. figure that stuff we'll out. Figure later. It out. We'll, we'll figure it out, out later. We um, got that. Yeah. But I think I, I think I covered it all. You know, my Instagram, yeah. TikTok, our Twitter, Patreon. We got it. Yeah. Cool. I think that's about it. Thanks for listening. It's been super nice. And if you want to see us again, you can go join our Patreon and uh, we'll, we'll see you later. So be it, Jedi. 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 Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Bye.